Hello, and welcome to the Virtual Reality Exposure Therapy System. During this introductory voiceover, take the time to look around you, and familiarize yourself with the environment. The aim of this system is to provide a completely safe, virtual environment, in which you can confront your fear. If you feel anxious, scared or uncomfortable during your treatment, that's perfectly okay, in fact, facing these feelings is crucial in overcoming your fear. Try your hardest to keep going, even if you feel uneasy. If you do feel the treatment is too much at any time, you can return to the main menu, or even simply remove the virtual reality headset. Each phobia is composed of a number of levels. Levels at the start will be very simple, levels at the middle will reflect real-life situations you may find yourself in, and levels at the end may be exaggerated from anything you might experience in the real world, so if you can complete those, you'll be doing amazingly. Something that makes the treatment effective is a certain element of unpredictability, so I'm not going to tell you what's in the next level each time. If you feel surprised or overwhelmed when you start a level, try hanging on for a few moments and see if you can get used to it. Again, if it's really too much, you can always take off the headset. To incentivize you to engage with the treatment, each level has a scoring system. You've already scored 100% on this level, but future levels may require you to get close to your stimulus, answer questions on the screen, or even just sit and try to relax for a duration of time. You can decide to progress to the next level regardless of your score. At the end of each level, you'll need to give a 1 to 10 rating of how anxious you felt during that level. Be as honest as possible, as these ratings will allow you to chart your progress. After using the system repeatedly, you should start to see your ratings for each level come down, as you begin to feel less anxious with your stimulus. Use the thumbsticks on either controller to navigate the menus, and either trigger to select an option. Some levels may ask you to use the grip buttons to interact with your environment. Hit the complete level button, and enter your rating, to get started. On the laptop in front of you, we have a pretty basic, cartoonish representation of a spider. Like scorpions, dicks, and mites, spiders are arachnids, meaning they have exoskeletons, and segmented bodies. Spiders have eight legs, and usually, eight eyes, unlike the cartoon. Like most arachnids, spiders are generally carnivorous, and usually eat small insects, like flies or mosquitoes, making them great for pest control around your house. Answer the questions on the screen to try and get a high score, and move on to the next level, whenever you're ready. Instead of a cartoon, now we have a photograph of a spider. Specifically, this is the giant house spider, a species that you might run into, as it's commonly found in the UK. Even though it may look scary, it's really quite harmless and much more afraid of you than you are of it, just like any spider you're going to meet. Spiders aren't aggressive creatures, and are only likely to bite you if it's in self-defense, so as long as you don't hassle them, you'll both be absolutely fine. Here's our first real spider. Don't worry, it'll stay in its box for now. Try looking at it from a few different angles, and getting used to it a little. For a high score, try and get close to the box so you can peer inside. Okay, now our spider's out of the box, but it's still going to stay put for the moment. Try just sitting in the space and getting used to its presence. Again, try and get a high score by getting close to the spider to get a good look at it. As you'll have noticed, our spider has started to move around the table. For this level, it's going to walk out a few shapes. Try watching the spider, and answer the questions on the screen.
Our spider's now done walking its trained routes, and now it's just doing its own thing. You may notice spiders move like this, in quick bursts, followed by a short rest. It can be tempting to fixate on the spider, and make sure you keep track of exactly where it is. Instead, I'm going to ask you to do the opposite, and look up at the ceiling. Try and forget about where the spider is or what it's doing. Now it's time to make our spider a little bigger. Try using the grip buttons on the controllers to change its size. If you reach a score of 100, you'll be facing a spider that's much larger than any one you might meet in real life, so you'll be doing really well. This is now probably more spiders than you've ever had to deal with. You might be pretty uncomfortable, but try to keep going, you're doing fantastic. In this level, I'm not going to ask you to do anything in particular, just to sit and be in the room with the spiders, and let them go about their business. If you look up, you'll see a spider descending from the ceiling. This is the last level. You don't need to do anything, just relax, and watch the spider hang there. When you're ready to finish, hit the complete level button, and you'll be returned to the main menu, 